Alrighty, folks, Blink 182, keeping us rocking there with the Kaleidoscope on WRSC 88.7 FM, Elmhurst College Radio. This is WRSC 88.7. This is a Good Time Sunday on every Sunday from 6 to 8 p.m. And finally, we are here live with the, the band Taking Off. Folks, what is up? How you guys doing? Hey. Good, good, good. good. Um, so, can you guys kind of go through, I guess, and say your first name and what you guys do for the, for the band kind of, kind of a thing? Yeah, uh, my name is Nathan Weber, and I play lead guitar. Uh, my name is Sarah Weber, and I'm the lead singer. My name is Christian Villamil, and I play the drums. My name is J.P. Destiner, and I play bass. Awesome, awesome. Now, I was talking to, I think it was Nate, and Nate, you were telling me that uh, you guys have been going for about three years? Yep, yeah, okay. three years. How did you guys now, just to ask, you guys are brother and sister, I'm yeah. guessing? Yeah. And that's kind of how things kind of got rolling? Or? Well, actually... It's um, a funny story. It's, it's really interesting. Me, Christian, and JP were in a band. We won't talk about that. But <laughs> we were in a band before, and it kind of just fell fell apart. And Sarah and I, for fun, about four or five years ago, started writing music strictly just because we both were into music and, and wrote. So sure. then JP, about three years ago, had this alumni show at his school, Lincoln Prairie. And we just, for fun, were like, hey, let's throw some stuff together. And it really clicked. So mm -hmm. Okay. Awesome, awesome. So then you guys have actually been officially taking off the band name since for the last three years, or did you guys go through a couple different names? No, it was uh, taking off for two and a half years ago. We didn't have a name for a while. Yeah. Okay. It kind of just played out. What was that one name? It was uh, Do It and Do It. It's kind of like a lame inside joke. Really. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> right on. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. So where did you, you guys come up with, with this name then, taking off? Like, where did that come from? Well, we were juggling a ton of names, I felt like, and... Um, I asked my mom, who is, loves 80s rock and stuff, mm -hmm. and, you know, we're very rock-oriented, and she's like, I want this idea of, uh, you know, lifting off, like, the experience of a performance to, like, take people away and stuff, and also I wanted something that was, wouldn't restrict us from different genres and experience with heavy sure. and slow or stuff like that, sure. and taking off seemed to just kind of have a multiple meaning name and didn't limit us at all, so. Okay, cool, cool. So then you, you guys all just kind of meet up. And play this one show just to kind of do it and then it just ended up going really really well and well you know what i think it was was jp's yeah. mom when we were practicing said you guys sound really good and prior to that whenever me and jp would play together she really didn't want anything to do with it so mm -hmm. okay yeah. right on cool cool so then whenever you sing that it's only you like i mean you know does anyone here do any 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 back vocals or well look it's usually me, but Nate has been getting into singing lately, so we're, that's what's going to be like coming up. Sure, awesome. We're definitely going to start singing together, because awesome. we vibe really good, we do. I think. Yeah. As a group, we do. We like, when we get together, we just, it clicks. Okay, cool, cool. So now I'm going to guess you're the older, or you're the older one? Yeah, I'm a middle child with two sisters, she's the youngest. <laughs> okay, so. cool, 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 cool. Um, so then we got you guys, we got drums, we got bass. Yeah. Um, what do you guys think that you guys bring to the band as far as like, you know, your individual instrument itself, besides just the bass and the drums? Well, uh, for me, I, uh, I played in high school, I played a lot of jazz. Okay. I was in jazz bands, I was in uh, jazz combo for the school, and then outside of school, that was kind of my job in high school, was I played uh, just lounge music at places that would have me there. Sure. And so. Yeah, it's not really the genre we play, but it kind of, I think it contributes a little bit, the, my, a little bit of my jazz background into just bringing the something else. Yeah. Cool, cool. Okay. Please. I guess the same with, with me too. Like, I was in percussion in high school. Well, well starting from fifth grade, so I was in percussion for like eight years. Um, and just, you know, picking up different instruments, bass, guitar, and I played everything. Sure. So, like, you know. Yeah. He likes stuff stuff. Oh, yeah. Okay. So that's good for a drummer, yeah. you know? He's sure. Yeah. He somehow, br he somehow brings that in, in a very, like, tasteful way. He brings that dance vibe to our music, which gives us kind of like that that pop. Because me and Sarah tend to be kind of <laughs> somber, you know what I mean? Right. So. All right. Uh, give me just one second. WRSE. Okay. Thanks. Bye. That's the boss. Okay. Well, folks, basically, um, I guess we should probably talk into the microphones more. Yeah. <laughs> just, like, just get as close as we all can and share them. But yeah, so, um, you guys have been going for the last three years, had the same name, or had the name about the last two, two and a half years, which I feel kind of like is when you guys, I feel like that's whenever like a band can really kind of get their like footing down and you guys know 
and like what your name's gonna be, if that makes sense. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, where do you guys think that you've come from, you know, as far as like writing songs three years back to like now? Have you guys gone through any different phases? I know that you mentioned being like rock, being like pop, like, you know, what have you guys kind of gone through? Well, I mean, I, th I think for sure, we started out very simple four or five years ago. I was playing about maybe two years tops at the time. And now just all of us kind of studying music, him studying jazz and, and stuff like that. I guess more complexity. And we went through a phase where we kind of wanted to be complex and then it just sounded like too much, you know. And now just kind of finding a happy medium and really not limiting ourselves as far as what we explore, kind of letting inspiration sure. take over. Okay, cool. So whenever you guys write, is it only mainly, you know, you guys writing? Like, you know, you two, bro brother and sis, or is it like everyone's kind of throwing in their own thing? Sometimes, like with our single, Look At Me Now, that was at a band that was at a band practice. We all had just, Nate, you came up with uh, a riff, and then I just started writing, and we it all literally just came together. Okay. So, but yeah, we write together a lot, and then... We'll meet up all together, and it really just comes together really yeah. well. And then, and then sometimes a song will just come into practice. Mm -hmm. It just happens. We're grooving, and all of a sudden, she just starts throwing in lyrics, or he starts throwing in bass line, and it's it's never hard. It's always the chemistry is amazing. It just comes. It's never like we have to force anything, or I don't have to say too much to everyone else in the band. It just really comes together. Sure. Awesome. Awesome. What is some? What are a couple of like things that you guys tend to write about? Like, as far as a band, you know, lyrics go and all that, messages? Um, more like, um, real life situations, breakups, obviously. Um, just feeling down and wanting to lift yourself back up, you know, being positive. Mm -hmm. Just feeling good, too. We got some feel-good songs. Totally. Yes. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Now, do you guys have any any bands that you guys cover or that you guys would like to kind of be like? Or bands, I shouldn't say they want to be like, but bands that you guys think are really awesome, I guess. I'd say like my favorite band uh, of all time is probably Audio Slave. Even though they okay. only had one album, you know, just a mix of Tom Morello was kind of the reason I started playing and uh, Chris Cornell. It's just mm -hmm. amazing. So maybe I really look up to. It's kind of basic, but I really love Gwen Stefani. Mm -hmm. No doubt, she's a cool chick. I like hard rock. I like like my um, Kill Switch Engage. I like everybody. So right what about you guys? For me, it's probably Cruella. I know it's pretty random, like, from the electronic music scene. But it's just, That's all right, like, yeah. the, the beats are awesome, their melodies and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Cool, cool. Uh, I'd have to say my all-time favorite band is Cream. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that is a really awesome mix there. That's mm -hmm. pretty cool. <laughs> Sweet. So then I know that uh, you so you guys have been on band, band camps since, since, like, last June-ish. I'm only guessing that because that's when you guys put out your first single, according to the site, which is true. Um, we had a really terrible EP we released in 2011 that we uh, very low budget <laughs> we put together, and we didn't know what we were doing in there. Um, didn't spend too much time worrying about quality, um, so we were out since 2011, but we uh, snuffed it. So if you have that, maybe someday it could be worth something, you know. Right. But well, let's we don't. We won't give it out. No more copies of that. <laughs> yeah. Awesome, awesome. So do you guys um like I should say this album that you guys put out, the uh, EP, which is called um, Spacebound. Um, does that album have any songs from that the one that you guys put out in 2011? Like, just like redone kind of a thing? Yeah, or? we redid four of the songs. Only only one that wasn't on the original was um, Let Go. Okay. Cool, cool. What was the name of the one that's, like, hidden away, the one you guys... Oh, well, we're, we, uh, we recently revisited that track. It's called I Need You. It's a very... Uh, really deep song, really interesting song that me and Sarah kind of wrote separately and we kind of showed each other two song ideas that matched perfect. Mm -hmm. um, but we're, we're planning on re revamping it and adding a choir and really getting into it. So it's called I Need You. It's a really great song, real deep. Okay, that is really, really awesome. Where did you guys put down this album, the last one, uh, Spacebound? Um, the studio, Rax Tracks, on the north side of Chicago. Okay. Um, cool studio, Buddy Guy recorded there, Smashing Pumpkins, OK Go. Mm -hmm. uh, we really got lucky, really good deal, kind of found somebody who just had a hookup. Sure. Um, and then some of it was in the guy's basement. Um, I guess his name is Kevin Kiley. He's an awesome sound engineer, so. Okay. He's a great guy. Yeah. It's cool. Awesome, awesome. So now, are you guys working on anything new now? Like a new album, new, you know, you know EP, LP? <clears throat> We're in the beginning of getting that started right now. We have uh, 
I want to say like four, five, five or, four six. or five songs. Okay. And we performed them live too. And we have a couple new ones that we're going to perform live soon. Yeah. We're working on that. It's okay. really exciting. You guys are going to like it. Awesome. Yes. Did your last album have a certain tone that this new album may be like, you know, going off from? I like think this tone? one's going to be a little more chill. I would say, but well, also more party, like, sure. you know, like, people are going to jam out to it. Yeah, I, I think it's rock me and there. Sarah were going through some serious breakups separately yeah. during the first album. If you listen to it, it's very, like, angry, upset, <laughs> hurt music. But you it's know, good. With the exception of Look At Me Now, it's pretty positive. Yeah. Um, but this one's probably going to be, like, now we're both, like, you know, we have our, our relationships, we have a new perspective on life, we're better Growing people because older, of it. Maturing. And And honestly, with the band... Like the chemistry is unreal, mm -hmm. so it's just going to be a whole different. It's definitely going to be a next level for us. I feel so. Yeah, that that is awesome. What is something that you guys think you guys would like to do that you haven't done 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 yet? And that can be anything from you know using specific, like I guess instruments that you guys haven't played, or like you know like do you guys ever like have this like vision of like where, where you guys would like to be in a couple of years? Something that's completely different, or are you guys just taking it like one album and you know song at a time? Probably like. Um, we have like um, hip hop influences. I think that would be really cool to add in some like rap or I don't know. They could rap low key. Oh, they, yeah. <laughs> don't tell them that. <laughs> no, but uh, no, I think for all of us, we um, we definitely want to be at a really professional level and be respected pretty widely. You know, I think for us, it's it's more about making a living off music and being able to just write all day and play all day and play out and travel. And obviously, collaborate with our favorite artists eventually would be so cool. You know? Yes. Yes, definitely. It's like it would be awesome to like incorporate our music with like electronic artists now. If I think about that, like, <gasps> man. <laughs> yeah. That would be awesome. That would, that would be really really cool. So then you guys are also a band. I'm guessing that plays a lot of like live shows. Or how often do you guys get out and play? Um, we we try to play at least once a month. It's really, really kind of what works out, you know, because right now it's about the draw, you know. There's really not a lot of gigs that's about showing up, you know. And realistically, we could play about once a month and get a great draw. Okay. So we love, but we love to play out. It really, I kind of, when we're not playing out, I lose a lot of drive. Yeah, So totally. I agree. You guys think that, like, whenever it's, like, warmer out kind of a thing, you guys are doing more than when it's cold, or are you guys always doing stuff, like, throughout the year? I feel like we're always doing stuff. Uh, we, some months are better than others. And we usually have a show once a month, though. Sometimes we'll have, like, three or four. We have a couple of shows coming up. We're going to open for um, Great White in yeah. um, April. April, and then in June, Saving Able. Saving Able. And that's awesome, because I love them. Right on. Saving awesome. Able is a dope band. <laughs> yeah. What are some of the fests or, like, places that you guys have, like, played that you really, really liked? I mean, House of Blues was easily the coolest place you've ever played. I mean, they, yeah. <laughs> they are so professional. I mean, they just treat you like you're famous, and they yeah. treat you like you're a big shot, you know. And mm -hmm. uh, not just necessarily like praising you or anything like that, but they really respect you as an artist. And right. They take care of you. Um, Reggie's is a cool vibe place. I mean, that place is like, you know, has the graffiti on the walls and it's, it's a really rough place. looking place. That's cool. And then I always love playing at our hometown, uh, Chicago Loop in Streamwood. It just is home, you know, and mm -hmm. it always packs, you know, and great turnout always. So awesome. Awesome, awesome guys. I think Mojo's was pretty cool too. Oh yeah. And we're playing there again and that's a pretty cool place. You saw That's the place right now, man. You saw Three Days yeah. Grace there. Yeah. They're awesome. Yeah. Cool beans. So I guess like, you know, wrap wrapping up in a, a bit, what do you guys think that you guys bring as a band to the listener? Um, I think all four of us take what we do really serious and I think we all have a drive. I feel overall a lot of the music now is not like, there's a lot of passion missing in this very same song, every song. By lot, every every group seems to be releasing the same topics. And I feel like my, my mission statement for us would be like, you know, to really make people feel nervous and feel like they really need to take their craft a little more serious. And I feel, you know, we all practice hard and we all are still learning and all still getting lessons or vice versa. I feel like that that's what we'd bring is, you know, people who really take their craft serious and really care about who would be listening to it, you know? Totally. Realness, seriousness. Yeah. Yeah. Right on. Awesome, guys. Awesome. And then you guys are going to be back in a couple minutes to play a couple of live songs for us here. Yeah. Yes.
that would be awesome. Do you guys know about how how many you're gonna you're gonna, you're gonna play? We're, think, we're thinking three songs. You know. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Are there any of them that you're not gonna play that you'd like me to play really quick off of Bandcamp? You can play Piece of Me. Yeah, Piece of Me. Piece of Me. I think yeah. that's a rocking song. That song, that song kicks for sure. Awesome. Well, hey guys, thank you very very much for for being on. I mean, you know, you'll obviously be on again in a couple minutes when you'll be doing your artist thing. It'll, cool. it'll be awesome. Thank you. So yeah, yeah, guys, this has been Taking Off. Uh, you guys can check them out at takingoff.bandcamp.com. And this song right here is called Piece of Me. And then they'll be back to play a couple more songs live in just a couple minutes. W-R-S-E. Awesome, guys. So this is my first time doing this again in what, like 